the years. Count the victories. I get to the ball. Let's go. Count the number of lives they've touched. Add up the titles and testimonials. Half the total would be enough to secure their place in history. Two of the all-time greats. The Nittany Lions found the national champion. Bobby Bowden, he finally got it perfect. But there is no measuring pride, no calculus for weighing character, no ceiling on the satisfaction a winning season can bring. So on they went, building legacies for themselves, their communities, their schools. The milestone of 300 has been reached. His second national championship. They've been accused of failing to see the writing on the wall. But these 70-somethings are still answering the call. Joe Paterno and Bobby Bowden. He's still got the fire, doesn't he? <laughs> still in the game. Still in their prime. And tonight, hits ahead in the FedEx Orange Bowl. And is there a more appropriate place for two 70-somethings to meet? than where generations have come to retire. Welcome to Miami, Florida and Dolphin Stadium. The 2006 FedEx Orange Bowl. Champions of the Big Ten, number three Penn State. Champions of the ACC, Florida State. Penn State has a freshman kicker, Kevin Kelly, who's set to boot it away. For Penn State. Great setting here. 15 miles north of the Orange Bowl Stadium. This uh, Dolphin Stadium, as it's now known, open 18 years. Home of the Dolphins, the Marlins. Three Super Bowls, and now the best coaching matchup ever. Through the back of the end zone. Drew Rutherford, Florida State, freshman quarterback from Land Lakes, Florida. Spread out, one back. It begins from the 20 with Leon Washington. Loss of one, Alan Zomitis, starting lineups. Washington just touched it, starts it running back. Young, talented receivers, but senior Willie Reed, the most reliable. Offensive line, they've lost three would-be starters to season-ending injuries. David Castillo, a senior, an academic All-American. Loss of one, second and 11. Weatherford, incomplete. Off the hands of Chris Davis, consensus All-America, Tom Bahali led the Big Ten in sacks with 11. Alfred Sean Rice, pretty good as well. Paul Puzlesny won the Butkus Award. Best linebacker in the nation with Shaw and Connor. Four fifth-year seniors in the back. Zomitis has already made a play with Harrell, Lowry, and Anwar Phillips. Penn State changes what they were showing. Weatherford, who throws complete to Willie Reed. The senior to the 41, gain of 22. See if the Knowles go to the run for the first time here tonight. Here comes the senior, Washington, into the secondary. Gains 10. Weatherford adjusts the play. And throws behind his intended receiver, Jacody Fagg. You've got to get him back and get rid of the football. Second and 10 against the four-man rush. The screen is over the head of Washington. And you'll see the same tonight with Weatherford. Penn State bails, plays deep coverage. Screen set up for Washington. Brought down by Jay Alford. The defensive lineman who... Dead ball. Personal foul. On the offense. Number 26. 15 yard count from the other one. Fourth down. Calvin Lowry receives. Not a good kick. Lowry on the run. Fair catches it at the 34. Michael Robinson, quarterback. Cap City, Richmond, Virginia. That includes Vince Young. Attack. Yes, it does. First down. In trouble. Brought down. Knowles swarming. FedEx starting lineup, Nittany Lion ball handlers. Tony Hunt went over a thousand yards. Tenth Nittany Lion to do that. No Derek Williams, the freshman star out for the broken arm. 450 or seniors up front and Levi Brown. Losses two. Second and 12. Robinson has his running back Hunt to block. Cameron Wimbley, their defensive end who missed the last three games with injury, is back. Roderick Bunkley is second in tackles for loss in the country. Linebacker Sam McGrew joins the starting lineup. A.J. Nicholson sent home for breaking team rules with Buster Davis and Ernie Sims. They all have to step up a little bit. Very young corners. Safety, Pat Watkins, 10 career interceptions. He's from Tallahassee. Moving into the lineup. Third down. 
Robinson pressured screen to Hunt. Tried to let the blockers work for him, but it was caught from behind. Well protected, beautiful kick. 51 yards. Reed from the nine has Ruth. Willie Reed up the middle to the 38-yard line. Florida State kick, picked up two first downs. Penn State none. Drive starts from the 38. This is Lorenzo Booker. We've already Eagle seen block. that on both ways. sides. Against the offense, number five. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. Repeat first down. It's a spot foul from where it ended. That's why it's first and 23. Weatherford throws. Nice job to adjust to the ball by Greg Carr. Second and 16. Play clock at five. Lorenzo Booker brought down by Paul Puzlosny when it comes to being a great linebacker. And linebacker it is nasty. Third and 16. Booker screen. Runs away from Paxson. Flag comes in. As Booker goes down, you know, the decline is set up fourth down. On the Mike, offense, number 63. When you see Finally a defense, defined. fourth down. Run a ball carry. Chris Hall to kick it. This one a better kick. Line driver, 52 yards, hauled in by Lowry at the 14. Well covered on special teams. Pat Watkins is starting safety. Tonight it's one and two in major college coaching wins. Joe Paterno and Bobby Bowden. Drive start. From the 15, the 1,000-yard back hunt is out. Austin Scott is in. He gained six and a half yards. And you know, he'd look at his eye, and I knew he was probably telling the truth. Justin King, the receiver, lined up in the backfield. Here he goes, using that speed to the edge. Showed the sideline. 23 touches this season. He averages about 15 per. Now Robinson on play action. Got a nice block from his fullback. It throws wide open to Ethan Kilmer. That game, 25. Movement looked to be Isaac Smolko. Prior to snap. Ball start on the offense. Number 74. Five-yard penalty. Remains first down. First and 15. Scott again for the 39. Uh, on this drive. Game of 12, second and three. Play action against pressure. Downfield for Dion Butler. Incomplete. He came in and wanted to work from the very beginning, and that's helped them mold, go, mold as a team. Scott up the middle. Austin Scott, first down, Penn State. So all the pub about the 1,000-yard rusher, Tony Hunt. Something Florida State has not seen. Scott lined up at fullback. Here he goes again, probing Austin Scott down to the two-yard line. He has four carries, 55 yards on this drive. Brandon Snow, the fullback, leads the way. Scott finds the opening and into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. Jason Ganter. Second touchdown of the year for Scott. Mike, actually, great job here again by Austin Scott. This time reading the blocks and cutting back. The hole was designed off to the right, made the right read, and cut back to the left and took it into the end zone. His first touchdown since September 10th, game two against Cincinnati. The quick hitter and running right at the Florida State defense. Kevin Kelly's kickoff. Hunt at the four by Kenny O'Neill. With lots of room to run. Taken out of bounds. National Championship game. Rose Bowl game presented by City tomorrow night on ABC. You start to panic as a play caller. Second and 11, Weatherford lost the ball as he tried to come through. Incomplete forward pass. This is third and 12 on average length tonight. This one specifically third and 11. And pressure from Dan Connor. Weatherford looking to run a marker down behind the play as he gets popped by the whole linebacking core from linebacker U. In early trouble. No, it's only seven of them, but it doesn't feel like they're in it right now. Beautiful kick by Hall, 53 yards. Lowry spun back from the seven. Three flags are down behind the play. 
as he's taken down at the 24. Legal block in the back. Going to return. Penn State, number 46. Half the distance to the goal. First down. I was going to say, has no helmet. Always a sign a guy's not going in. But he just picked it up. From the four, it is back to Scott. And Austin Scott emerging here tonight. Ball came out. Was it after he was down? Season high just in the last nine plays. Six of them runs by Scott. Three Robinson for the deep ball for Norwood. Overthrown. Intercepted by Tony Carter. Setting up blocks. Brought down in the open field by Dion Butler at the 47. First time all year. Weatherford, will he take a shot down the field? Here he goes, loading up deep downfield. It is pushing off and incomplete. Reed and Phillips with contact. Looked like Willie Reed pushed it. Four wides, one back. And a flag down as it's deflected and incomplete. Team Big Ten is up front. On the defense, number 91. Lined up in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. He fired up. First and 20. Swing out Washington. Into the waiting arms of Jay Alford. The continuity this offense. And a freshman quarterback. Weatherford throws over the head of Reed and incomplete. Don't be surprised if they don't try to get the football to Greg Carr here on third and long. That's third and 16. He looked Carr's way. Comes into traffic. What a hit. On to Cody Fagg, who had to go up for the pass. Arms because he knew Puzz Leslie was closing in. Paul's done a good job kicking the last few. Penalty marker down. Lowry returning from the 10. We have three penalty markers down. I think it's away. Face mask of Florida State. Legal block in the back. Penn State, 19. Legal block in the back, 18. Okay. Penn State. Penalties offset. Replay fourth down. Right. On a high note, whether it was uh, this year or any year. Chris Hall kicking again. Lowry running up to get it. And to a knee at the 21. I see that. <laughs> First and 10 here. Penn State from the 21, and it goes back to a very good-looking running back here in this first quarter. Off. And I, I think Joe Paterno, when you talk to people around him, here's Scott running again. Brought down at the 28th of we'll third, about three. And it's that kid Robinson under center. We'll tell you his story in the second quarter. Difference maker. Third and three. He runs option here. Nick, but keeps going and gets the first down. As we come to the end of the first quarter. Paterno's team, 112 yards. Florida State just 48. After one for the 2006 FedEx Orange Bowl. Penn State 7, Florida State nothing. And ABC Sports presentation of the FedEx Orange Bowl will continue after this message and a word from your ABC station. <laughs> Quarter two begins. Nittany Lions take over first and ten after the run by Robinson. He throws. It's incomplete for Justin King, the freest looking injury in a game last year. He hands off here to Scott up the middle to the 48. With open and Penn State's been able to do that here these last few drives. Robinson faked the throw and takes off up the middle. Be right at the first down mark is adding to the pass game and overcoming a serious injury in a game last year, all to take over the job. Rodney Kinlaw the run. He has a first down. If you want to play, you can do it, Mike. And it helped him so much. He throws complete to Dion Butler. Rodney Kinlaw, the third back, is the lone back. Justin King comes back there. He can run some stuff out of there as well. Swing out to him. Beautiful tackle. Pat Watkins. Gino Hayes showed pressure as a linebacker. Jordan Norwood just couldn't get there. Third and 14. Field goal from here would be 50 yards. Knowles bring heat. Robinson in trouble. That should be intentional grounding. It is. Michael Ray Garvin lead the charge. Jimmy Capitos punt. Willie Reed comes over, almost dropped it. it seemed like throughout the 80s, late 70s and 80s every day. First run, Washington into the secondary. Give Leon 50. Washington trying to start a new life. Washington again. Three yards. Stop Holly and the rest of those guys up front. On the offense. 
Number 68. Ten yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Repeat first down. Liberia and Tamba's mom is in a lot safer spot. Weatherford lost the football. Holly is there trying to recover, battling with Lunford. And Lunford got it back. Just jumped on through his arms. Second and 26. Weatherford screens Washington. Tried to give time to get a block out there, but great inspiration to him. Third and 19. Through the hands of Booker, and right now Florida State's offense. Anthony Cerrito now back deep to receive the punch from Chris Hall. Caught it at the 45 and a fair catch. So Penn State leading 7 0. And Austin Scott. Second and a dozen. Robinson's throw is out of bounds and incomplete. The receiver of defense line. Bunkley comes out for third down. Flewellen is in. Pass rushing. Robinson has to get out of there. Swarmed by the Seminole defense. Pick the 40. Reed from the 17 has room. Willie Reed back down to the 35 with large penalties on first down on three of their five drives. Weatherford pressured by Hali. Cruise it complete to Chris Davis. First down. You have it, receiver. The toss is complete just for a gain of a couple of yards. But at least now they cross midfield and they're mixing it up a little bit here on this drive. Second and eight. The throw to Fred Rouse. Good looking, talented freshman receiver. DJ e. Dean is the fullback for Leon Washington. Again, play action. Weatherford down the middle. Miscommunication. Interception, Alan Zemitis with a nice return as well to the 33-yard line. That looks like a terrible throw by a quarterback, but very often since 1990, longest relationship with the ball currently. This down run, here comes Scott. Robinson. One run right back to Scott Met in the hole. Completed no contest through a couple of different charges earlier in the year. Was sent home by Bobby Bowden. Second and nine, throw drop. Dead ball. Personal foul. On the offense. Number 67. 15 yards from the previous line of scrimmage. Third down. Robinson's throw is caught by Justin King. Fourth for Kapanos. Willie Reed had a nice return going last time. This a nice kick from the 13. Nice job by Reed to cut up the middle. Break free. Willie Reed with speed. The punter chasing. He is gone. Touchdown, FSU. 87 yards. the game in the ACC title game against Virginia Tech it was a tight struggle and he took it back all the way against the Hokies for 83 yards he had a touchdown punt return against Maryland earlier this year that was huge in that game and he goes the distance here Mike it looks like right there he's going to the outside he comes back to the middle what a move by Willie Reed and now it's one on one with the punter tremendous speed by Willie Reed to take it into the end zone Ties a Florida State record. Three punt returns for touchdown in the same season. All square at seven. Been struggling. The big return by Willie Reed ignited their offense and the momentum of that game. Penn State respond with a return. Rodney Kinglaw cannot. Doesn't even get back to the 15. We've seen that all night. Good decision. To seen it all year. <laughs> and he laid off. Penn State with Austin Scott on the ground. Going nowhere. Second and nine, the senior quarterback. Nothing open downfield. Directing traffic. Norwood couldn't hang on. Third down. Four receivers to throw to. Incomplete. Intended for Justin King. Reed took the last one back. Good rush there. Four kick. Hop came to him, so he had to take it. And when he goes down at the 43. There. 
at the Rose Bowl. We'll talk to the guys in a little bit. First down, Lorenzo Booker. Shot out of the cannon. Lorenzo Booker inside the 10, inside the 5. Touchdown! After the punt return, the missed extra point by Sismasia will keep it 13 to 7. Extra point no good. 13 to 7. Sismasia misses an extra point for the first time and snaps a streak of 121 in a row by Florida State. Need to do to pull together and get through the stretch where they lost three games in a row. Before unheard of in Florida State history. First and ten, Penn State from the 20. FSU by six. Can Robinson respond to Jordan Norwood? He makes a man miss to the 41-yard line. Mike. What a difference maker he's been on this team. A leader as a junior. Robinson throws to Smoko, his tight end. Open field tackle, and they do this year. Second and nine from the 42. The runner with Austin Scott. And it's a punt return for touchdown. Penn State. Number 30, five-yard penalty, remains third down. Third and seven. Robinson overthrows Dolphins. Florida State bringing extra people. They almost got to the punt. Roosevelt Lawson almost got there. Kapanos' punt will be down inside the five. Penn State has punted five times this quarter. Full complement of timeouts. Look out, a safety. A safety is drawn here let's see the mark no they're marking him at the half yard line oh boy get another look at it mike it's a great call it does, we'll get a probably a different angle here and you can see where coleman looks like he got out of the out of the end zone just got across the goal line but i can't get over right we need to talk there's, there's, the there's indisputable video evidence that the call in the field is correct the ball is down on the half yard line second down be quiet. He asked him to be quiet in a not very nice way. Please. Keeper up the middle for a couple of yards. Third and ten. Weatherford just into the middle. It's out to the five. five. Able to get the punt away. A good field position as it's a fair court caught by Lowry at the put on two minute drives this year. They scored six out of seven times. The only miss was a missed field goal. Robinson hit as he threw, but it is caught by Norwood. Who gets out of bounds? Quick out or a one shot to the end zone. Robinson goes end zone for Kilmer. Did he catch it? Yes! Touchdown, Penn State! And what a job using your timeouts to keep it alive and tie the game. Mike is a corner when you're out there on an island on an island that's oh. one of the things is Florida's what a great effort Florida State's defense one there Kevin Kelly knocks through his extra point and Penn State takes a fourth seed to 13 lead didn't play high school football defender special teamer they make two big plays here tonight Kenny O'Neill's return at the back end of the half he's got room but a Nittany Lions over there to Send them to the sideline, out of bounds at the 40. Big blocking, but no flag as we come to the end of a very entertaining first 30 minutes here at the FedEx Orange Bowl. At the half, Penn State by one. John Saunders, Craig James, Aaron Taylor. Penn State, only two of eight. Florida State, one of seven. But both are in a lot of third and longs. Graham Gano's kickoff begins the third quarter. Rodney Kinlaw's return brings him down to about the 20. The junior Hunt on the bench, the junior Austin Scott in the backfield. And almost taken down on the first try by Ernie Sims. Wide receiver. Loss of four, second and 14. Robinson in a whole mess of trouble. Gets rid of it as he was outside of the tackles. Pressure again, try to go underneath, actually took the helmet, or the hat, off of the umpire. And a penalty marker. 
Start a snap. I'll start. On the offense, number 35. Five yard penalty remains fourth down. Kapanos gets it away. Not a good kick, but good, good bounce. Was it touched by a Florida State foot there? The officials come in and signal it at the 41 yard line. Drive starts just shy of the 41 for freshman quarterback Drew Weatherford. Incomplete. Has deflected more when he was under center. Out of the gun, they run Leon Washington. Puzlesny had him by the ankle. Academic All-American in addition to a football playing All-American. Third down, Weatherford flushed. Halid chases his throws incomplete. Chris Hall, very high snap. Nice job to get it down. And Hall just fires it out of there as quick as possible. And it will be downed inside the five for Florida State. They say the ball was touched by Florida State. The Knowles coaching staff disagreed. Brandon Snow carries for a couple of yards, only out to the nine-yard line. So the starting running backs out for Penn State. Second and nine, Rodney Kinlaw, the third string running back. Ton of third and longs tonight. Third and 11. Two good defenses here. Robinson's throw is caught. But Justin King is not going to get the first down. Punt back for touchdown tonight. Kapanos' kick. Reed has a bunch of room to run. But Penn State covers it well as it comes down. A renegade didn't make the trip. That's the first thing Joe wanted to know when he saw Bobby. Matt Henshaw, the tight end, whose dad's a coach in the National Football League and assistant. George and Joe are still going. Good six-yard gain to the tight end. Fake the pass, give the run to Booker, who scored earlier. Shown the sideline by Dan Connor, sophomore who will continue to emerge. Third down, Weatherford, flush, looking for room to run. Holly chased him into the arms of the tackles. Jay Alford and Scott Paxson. Sack for Penn State. Hall trying to pin them inside the 15-yard line again. This one oh, gets a very nice second bounce and will be down at the 13. Both starting running backs out for Penn State. Michael Robinson, the senior quarterback, takes over from the 13. Pass drop. Perfect throw. Six of the last seven possessions have been very bad for Penn State. Robinson had nothing open. Tries to take off. Eludes two tackles. Gets to the 20. Penn State to try to execute and pick up some first downs to get the ball out of this deep hole. Third and three from the shotgun. Robinson. Looking for room to run, it's not there. Buster Davis comes up. Drives, three, three and outs. Kapanos kicks it away. Nice high kick, but that was the one that was returned before. Reed, after the 47-yard punt, breaks free again. To the 40-yard line distance to go up 13-7. Penn State responded with a touchdown right before halftime. First down drive begins with a Greg Carr catch. Knowles offense with a good opportunity here. Dealing from second and four. Lorenzo Booker cannot get to the edge. Chris Harrell and, and has come back to play well this year. Will they get the first first down of the third quarter? No, incomplete. The slant for Willie Reed was defended well. For punt here. This will be caught on the fly inside the two. At the one-yard line, the home of Super Bowl 40 from Detroit in February. From the one, Robinson just looks for space to breathe. He did five times when he was the coach for the Gators. Getting off the goal line, but only to the four-yard line. That length is why Penn State's 2 of 11 on third down tonight from his own end zone. Robinson throws down the middle. Incomplete. Field keeps moving closer to Penn State's end zone. Kapanos gets a bad kickoff. Reed gets it on the hop at the 41. And Willie Reed brings Florida State close, but the flag comes in. Legal block in the back. During the return, number 56. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the infraction. First down. I absolutely love 
those children. <laughs> God, they spend every darn penny on them. Won't the Jack? They don't spend on no money. That would not have spent on the grandkids. Yeah. And those guys get to sit, and their wives get to sit and chat and visit. Weatherford throwing the deep ball into coverage, and it is incomplete. Anwar Phillips almost had the interception. See what they do here on third. Bring the receivers back to block for Washington, who gets the first down. Lyman caught again. Holding on the offense, number 63. Ten-yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. We play third down. That's it. What defense? Third and 12. Screen to Booker. Can he get the block on the outside? Kozlozny chases him, brings him down shy of a first down. Fourth and two. Toss, Booker. Did not get the block, will not get the first down. Mario Henderson, the left tackle, to plus 32. Robinson brings it down the line. Very tight pitch to Justin King. What a hit by Sam McGrew. Right now, they're winning it up front at the line of scrimmage. Second and 11, pressure on Robinson. He's hit as he throws incomplete for Justin Norwood, but a penalty marker down. Another flag Pass throw. interference on the defense. Number 22. Ball be placed with a spotted infraction. Automatic. First down. Now, these guys are working them tonight. Double reverse. King hands to Justin Norwood. Robinson out there throwing a block. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Robinson's throw is caught by Ethan Kilmer at the touchdown earlier. Tomorrow night, 8 Eastern, 5 in Pasadena on ABC. More pressure. Robinson running for his life. Gets rid of it incomplete to replace him. Robinson, the quick passing game. Kilmer catches again. Florida State's done a nice job of tackling. Here's the tight end, Smoko, 81. He's staying in to block the pressure from Kyler Hall, the safety. Robinson gets away and throws it away. Incomplete. Good job of protection. Reed will let it hit. Penn State will down it at the six, so they flip the field a little bit. And Florida State will start with the long field and the bad field position as the fourth quarter begins. The punt was 42. Very good defensive quarter, poor on offense. After three, Penn State 14, Florida State 13. And ABC Sports presentation of the 2006 FedEx Charge Bowl continues after this message and a word from your ABC station. The FSU starts from its own seven, trailing by one. No room for a first down run. But they're still down a point and now have a long way to go. Second and ten. Booker sent airborne. Can't make a big mistake down here if you're Drew Weatherford, the freshman quarterback, who's in trouble. That could be grounding in the end zone. If it is, it's a safety. Safety is called. Wow. And Penn State takes a 16-13 lead. The question will be, did Jim Shaw's hand get a piece of it or not? And on top of that, the free kick that Florida State's going to send to Penn State will come from farther back after the unsportsmanlike conduct was called on the sideline. The free kick comes back at the 10-yard line, and they choose to use the kickoff man, Gano, to kind of bounce it through. Works out okay as it comes all the way back, but Justin King, with speed, has it in his hand, and Penn State gets good field position in addition to the two points and another flag and how they need to be dead able to ball. control their personal teams personal foul on Penn State dead ball personal foul on Florida State penalties offset first down Michael Robinson without his starting backfield both injured Austin Scott has uh, been on 100 yards for the entire quarter and a half here in a position to score second and 11 Robinson goes for the quick pass. Almost intercepted. And hit such a big part of his game is scrambling and picking up big, yard, big yards with his feet. He's not been able to do that tonight. And that's the offensive MVP of the Big Ten. Five rush. The blitz gets there late. The pass complete to Norwood. First down. They're taking him down every time, but a half second within. 
a flag. Will they go for it all here? Throw is caught. Carter trying to jump the route. Set a freshman record with 36 catches. Robinson throws high for Kilmer. They have to get a stop here. Third down, option into the boundary. Robinson keeps going and gets right to the first down line. And he has certainly grown into the role. Hand off to the up back Austin Scott. He gained about three to the 13 yard line. Get it to King or Williams or Norwood who's back there now. Robinson engulfed, but gets out of it. Lost his helmet too. Dangerous shot as he comes down to the 12 yard line. Wow. Penalty flag comes down. Legal substitution on the defense. Number 44. To battle in the trenches here. Third and a yard. Austin Scott pushing forward and enough of a surge to get the first down. They're all tightly bunched for first and goal. Robinson lost the football. Look at the hitting there. Florida State has recovered. Florida State hasn't moved it at all in this half. But a fumble on the exchange. They get back on the field on offense. Leon Washington goes forward. Crucial turnover. From the seven, Drew Weatherford. Quick screen to Leon Washington, who was in to get an IV because of the cramping the last three or four games. That's why they've only run it tonight for 24 yards. To the tight end, Matt Henshaw. Second and seven. Press coverage on the receivers. Weatherford running for any space to throw. Incomplete. That time, Holly, too strong for overlap. Third and seven. Weatherford has no pocket. Nobody open. They're making this one up. And it's caught by Chris Davis. Brought down by Lowry at the 41-yard line. Weatherford, three-step quick hit off the hands of Puslesny. A great Pennsylvania city where Joe Montana and Mike Ditka grew up as well. Plus, Lesney's bringing pressure now. Weatherford got it complete to Jacoby Fag, who lost his footing. Junior, another year of eligibility, was thinking about going to the NFL. Likely first round pick. Back to the play. Third and seven. This pass is caught inbounds. First down, Willie Reed. Working towards six minutes left in field goal range, down three. Leon Washington, the senior for the edge, flagged down as he's down. Now they're working on their the eighth play. Number 79, 10-yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Repeat first down. Thank you, thank you, Doc Punch. From the 34, Weatherford has Washington, the running back. Holly is chasing from the defensive line. Play up from Donnie Johnson. Three others decline. Second and 15, Penn State brings an extra body. Weatherford, the freshman, is hit as he threw, and it's incomplete. Reed is in the slot at the top of your screen. From here, a field goal is 46, so just some yards would be smart. They want the middle of the field, Mike. They lost one with Leon Washington. There is this major. The sophomore, five of seven from this distance this year. Hooking left, but hooking in to tie the game at 16. As the clock strikes midnight in Miami. You know, these guys are old enough. They can stay up past their bedtime. All tied at 16. We'll have no ties, as you know. Overtime's been in for some half decade now. We play through to a winner. Perfect kickoff. From the 20, Robinson. Flushed, stopped on a dime, threw in traffic for Smoko. Off at the quarterback, on the defense. Number 95, threw him to the ground. 15 yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Automatic, first down. Cameron Wimbley, what do we say? He wants to come back out here and finish this season in uniform with his teammates. First and 10 after the 15 yard flag. Robinson throws to Ethan Kilmer. Yeah, you heard the referee, Jerry McGinn, say it was the throwdown, not the late hit that caused the flag, and the moving by Florida State's defense. Fuck snap. 
False start on the offense. Number 43. Five yard penalty. Remain second down. Three minutes remaining in regulation. Robinson fumbles the shotgun snap. No room, no receiver. No play. Lawrence Timmons, the sophomore. Three receivers for Michael Robinson. Florida State backing into coverage. They only rush four. Robinson has a lane and he throws to Smoko for a first down. So the tight end, but in coverage on third and long, Michael Robinson able to take Florida advantage. State confused. Norwood behind the secondary. He's at the 15, down to the 11-yard line. Florida State got caught exchanging personnel. All they need is a field goal to take the lead. Austin Scott stopped up. Nowhere to go. Florida State can stop it one more time. In motion is Han, the fullback. Running is Austin Scott. Good play in the backfield. You would expect Penn State to run it. Keep it in the middle. Robinson is just going to go forward to the 12-yard line. All right, here we go. Kevin Kelly, the freshman, officially a 29-yard attempt. His first of the game. The lefty for the lead. He missed it to the left. Say, let's go to overtime. ABC Sports presentation of the FedEx Orange Bowl will continue after this message and a word from your ABC station. Leon Washington has been a factor in these last few drives and getting him the football and see if they try to do that. Out of the gun, Drew Weatherford throws a screen to Lorenzo Booker, shoots up or that Willie Reed, beg your pardon. They run in Tim Shaw, the linebacker, as the fullback goes forward and has enough for the first down. They try to pull it out as he freshman Richard Goodman from just north of here in Fort Lauderdale, the slot receiver. Leon Washington runs, trying to get past the defense. Second and 13. Four receivers, four-man rush. Weatherford, nothing open. Scrambling for it, picks up a block from Washington. A flag is down. Back in the middle of the line. Holding on the offense. Number 68. 10-yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Replay second down. For the first down. Play action. Weatherford throwing the deep ball. The jump ball for Carr, who couldn't get there. In overtime. Weatherford has room to run to get closer to field goal range. But he lobs it. Phillips lost his coverage. And it was a poor pass out of bounds. Give your kicker a much better chance. Good from 48. Sismasia from 44. Drifting to the right. He missed it. It was online. The undisputed leader and captain of this team. Run with Austin Scott. It's about a yard. But... Second and eight. A Robinson designed quarterback draw. From here, it would be just about 40 yards. Robinson, quarterback draw again. Gets two. Kelly from 38 for redemption. For the win. Missed it again. Wide left. And the game goes on. So rare on this historic night with Bowden against Paterno. Robinson from the 25 looks down the middle. Jordan Norwood, what a hit by Buster Davis. Uh, Penn State going with a little pep in their step from the 19. Robinson tries the shot for Dion Butler. Just over his outstretched arm. Third and four from here. The field goal is 37. Robinson throws to Ethan Kilmer, who caught it at the 10, at the 5, airborne like Elway to the one-yard line. He turned up field and picked up huge yards for Penn State. Personnel late. Matt Hans, the fullback. Austin Scott is the tailback, bouncing it to the outside. Cannot get there. What a great night this has been. Robinson, option to Scott, to the end zone. Penn State touchdown. The shaky confidence of the kicker, Kelly. 
Extra point, no problem. Florida State must score seven to send us to triple overtime. The freshman Weatherford. Can he keep this endless night going? Stepping up and throwing, complete for a first down. It is Willie Reed, the senior. Richard Goodman in the slot. Weatherford looking for Carr, goes up, brings it down, and takes it down to the one-yard line. You can see the big back Coleman dots the arm. Weatherford keeping it's a long way away for a quarterback sneak. P.J. Dean's in there as well. Coleman's blocking. Dean's going up the middle. He's at the goal line. We're an extra point from triple overtime. Touchdown, FSU. Freer, just to keep the game going. We go to triple overtime. Again, the rules change when you get to overtime number three. You must go for two points after you score. When you guys are coached by Bowden Paterno, you don't do that. From the 25, Weatherford has room to run. Drew Weatherford, the freshman, is twisted at the 21-yard line. Second and six, three-man front for the Nittany Lions. They cover with eight. Weatherford's throw is incomplete. The ball and the grass all making a sandwich. And I'm starving, by the way, right now. Yeah. It's no catch. breakfast. Yeah, it's no catch. Video evidence that the call on the field was correct. The receiver had the ball, but the ball was on the ground. Pass is incomplete. Third down. And always a chance for Willie Reed on the slot. Weatherford throws. The receiver, Carr, slip. Miles Hodish snaps. Says Mejia fading to the right again. Off the upright and no good. Chance to end the game on your own right here. Austin Scott looking for room. He's going. But at Penn State speed on the outside. Terrell Golden is coming the game in the slot. Dion Butler clears space. Ping on the screen. He's brought down a couple of yards shy. Third down, Michael Robinson. We'll just keep it, run it to the right, pick up the first down at the 13-yard line. First and 10 from the 13. And off Austin Scott. Yep. So the freshman Kelly, who's missed two, including one from this distance, 29 yards, and a Jason Ganter's hold, a chance to win this historic coaching matchup in triple overtime. of the 2006 FedEx Orange Bowl. And the season of restoration ends with exhilaration and devastation. Final word after this.